Signed, two quid. The living planet, that's David Attenborough. His find of the day. It's Wednesday. That means we're out sourcing stuff to sell on eBay. Ian, the master of pieces, part-time eBay reseller, just been into the first charity shop then. Found a few bits, look at this. 20 piece hand cut wooden ducular jigsaw. Who remembers that? Cool, wouldn't it? Gonna be taking it a little bit easy today though. Last week we went to Porthcore, found some great items. Some of them are sold already. I'll show you what's sold on eBay later in the video. But my number one helper is feeling a little bit under the weather. So we're gonna stay a bit closer to home. I don't really need to get too much stuff today because I had an epic Facebook Marketplace pickup. I'll show you that later too. But when you've got the time and you've got the itch, it's got to be scratched. Let's hit those charity shops and find some bits to resell. Have a look in the window here. What this is, is a Fisher Price Coda Pillar. So that's tested. Never seen one of these before. But it looks like all the little parts connect together with these USB ports. Soles are looking pretty strong on this. 25 quid, something like that. I'm going to get it just for the research. And this might be one to look out for again in the future. Have you been digging through the cars? What have you found? Ferrari. Ferrari. Wow, look at that one. Who's on the bottom? What make is it? That says Corgi. Corgi. Yep. Is it a Corgi? It's a Corgi Ferrari. Let's have a look. Bit of a crack on the windscreen. But it's got the Ferrari stickers on the front and the pony and a Ferrari on the side. Should we get him? It's 50p. Should we get him? So that's your first find of the day. There's a Jag XJS there too. New York Yankees cap there. 59.50. Baseball logo on the back. For a pound fifty. Genuine merchandise. Get that one too. Soundtrack of the day. Wheatus. There it is. Teenage Dirtbag. 20p from the charity shop. This will keep us going between charity shops. Who's that through there? Marvel Titan Heroes. Is that Falcon? Yeah, sold one of them recently, but doesn't have the wings. Always got to look out for the wings. That looks old. Junior Monopoly. Three quid? From 1991. But last week I picked up a vintage mouse trap from this same shop. And I think this is from the same donator. This is sad, right? I can tell this by the sellotape. This is exactly what the mousetrap was like. Four pieces of sellotape on there. Extending through the back. Detective work. Detective work. The other one was complete. I'd be pretty confident this is complete. We're getting it. And there's another one up there. Same donator. He's got the sellotape on all four sides. None of the other board games do. This one's a fiver though. Warrington's Blockbuster. We'll still go for 15, but... Just that extra two quid on the price takes away any floats, takes away any risk. We're leaving that one. Quite cool to see. Lord of the Rings, VHS. Cool art, I reckon, there. Five quid, no money in it. Go on, who have you found? Forky. It's Forky, of a Toy Story. Can I have a look? Forky! So Forky's from 2018 by Mattel. This one is the face changing one. There's a little tab at the back there and you pull it down. <laughs> he goes for about a tenth of his postage out. Quick question, what is littering? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Pretty sweet Vans backpack hanging up here. Nice big Vans logo hit on the front. Pretty basic, all black. Little Vans tab there. That's only three quid. I'll buy this. Ah, make sure the bottom's all right. No holes in the bottom. Zips are decent. I'm gonna buy this. I mean, I'm not meant to be buying much today, but I need a bag just to put everything in. You are on absolute fire today. What have you found down there? I got You saw he had the Disney cars eyes on. I would have walked straight past this. Really heavy. Disney store stamped on the bottom. A little bit of plastic stressing on the rotors there. That is three pounds, Daddy. Souls on these are up in the 20 plus postage range. Octonauts toys. Nice big bundle here. 
Looks like one, two, three vehicles. I've saw that gap before. Looks like it's got all the little fish that go with it and lots of other accessories. I mean, even if they're not complete, there's enough in there. How much is it? Before we get too excited, how much is it? This is cool to see. Look at this. A brand new Wales rugby shirt. 50 quid, size large. That's not too bad if you were buying it in the shop anyway, but it's signed by the ladies' rugby team. Look what's tucked up on the shelf here. It's one of those Bluetooth Furbies. Picked one of these up the other day. Now this one obviously doesn't have the eye mask on. But it's only a pound fifty. The other one I had had tons of battery acid damage and it was all over the fur. That one looks pretty clean. Get some batteries in, we'll test her. Love that. There we are, 2015. Sweet. What have you found? Squishmallow. A little squishmallow. Awesome, look at that. Rainbow ears and rainbow belly. Only a pound. There you are, Squishmallow. What's inside? Lion! Let's see, it turns into a little lion. That's cool, wouldn't it? Should we get it? Awesome. And continuing the pink theme, look at these. A pair of Asics Gel Columbus 17s. UK size 5, brilliant size. Six quid. <laughs> Gotta get them. Remember, skateboard brand here, Element. Backpacks. Having a bit of luck today, or well, maybe not. Uh, straps come off the top now we need that have a look at this sick t-shirt here red hot chili peppers dated on there 1999 and on the back californication double o pretty faded all around the collar and all around the seams. Size XL. What a beauty. And it's £2.49. I think this, looking at the last sold listing on eBay, is find of the day. You've been going through all those teddies. Who's that? Ah, yeah, well done. Disney Store. So looking on Google Lens, it looks like the Cheshire Cat, maybe? We'll have to do a bit more research into that. Should we get him? Yeah? Definitely. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah? I'll tell you what, that Chili Peppers t-shirt is looking like something special. Really tough to find that. But then of course my son has to go one better, didn't he? This is from Alice and the Looking Glass. But this looks to be quite a rare teddy. The last one of these brand new sold for 45 quid Disney store stamp 45 quid we paid 49p now I thought the chili peppers t-shirt would have been fine of the day but return on investment it's got to be a cat recognize that shirt and collar anywhere Wales Brains Brewery rugby shirt I've sold one of these yesterday you'll see that in the solds later in the video three pound fifty size large no cracking on the front. It's got the little rubber bits down the side. Ideal. Have a look at this now, look. A sealed switch game in the Chazza. Just as 2018, it's only four quid. I mean, I've, I've never seen a switch game in a charity shop for one, but sealed. Nice cotton Wales jersey tucked to the back there. Move all these bits. Looks like a ladies' jersey. Official merchandise. What are they saying? Four pound fifty. I will search this one up on sold. Actually, no. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to get it. Six Nations season. It's a nice looking jersey, isn't it? Bit of age to it because it's made by Reebok. Yeah, love that. Tell you what, my luck is in today. There was another reseller in that shop scanning all the books, going through. I think it was on Amazon. And that Swiss game was right on top, just above the books. So if he looked up, he would have seen there was a 30 quid game there for four quid. Well, I, he's, he's still in there scanning the books. We're, we're, we're off to the next one. A couple of you guys commented on one of my recent videos about the lemony snicket books. And what we've got here is the set one, all the way through to 13. They're all a pound each, hardback. Look at it, solves the complete set. 25 quid something like that I spend 13 make a tenner 
Might even keep them for when my boys are a bit older, if they're any good. Saying that, I can sell them and buy them a bit closer to the time, couldn't I? Signed, two quid. The Living Planet, that's David Attenborough. David Attenborough, signed. Where? Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. You've got to be getting two quid just for the history. Oh, that's brilliant. A couple of bits I didn't manage to get on film, but still worthwhile showing you. Look at this. An old school Mr. Blobby. Three quid. Solds are looking 10 to 15, something like that. And a little bag of goodies. Pound each. That Lego minifigure, I think, is off of Fantastic Beasts. And then two little Schleck cats. Pound each. They'll, they'll bundle up something like a tenner. Tell you what. What a day. What a morning. Three hours, charity shopping. We found retro band t-shirts, sealed Wii game. David Attenborough signed book. Looking at souls, that could be anywhere 50 quid plus. And not to forget that cat. And all the other little bits, those important little bits that helped me reach my five to six hundred pound profit total per month. And today I wasn't actually meant to be finding that much stuff because in the week I picked up an awesome Facebook marketplace pickup. Have a look at this. So it will be absolutely no surprise that the pickup in the week, Thomas the Tank Trackmaster. Everyone has got their favourite things to sell on eBay. Trackmaster is mine. Shout out David Welsh Game Group Collector for hooking me up on this one. The pictures were terrible. But just from the trains I could see in those few pictures, it was worth taking the gamble and picking up. Check this. So it all come in this big bag here. Loads of track, loads of carriages, but I've split out the trains because that's what I always look for. And here they are, 30 trains. There were not 30 trains in, in the picture, but the ones that were in the picture, you could tell they were good quality and not your bog standard Thomas's, Percy's and James's. 50 quid for all of these. Duck is a 30 pound train. Caitlin and Connor, these are two. If you see them, you know you're onto a winner. That's a 30 pound pair in there. Rarely come by those. So just those three trains alone, that's my money back. So you can, you can imagine there's a fair bit of profit here. So what I'll do now, go through, test them all, try and fix those that aren't working. There's bound to be battery acid. These are notorious for that, but I've got the tools to clean them. I can strip them down, I can service them. Generally from a bundle like this, I get about an 80% success rate. And if you average, give or take, they'll go for about 15 quid each. Some will go for more, some will go for less. Some of them won't work and you'll have to just bin. Once you take out postage, once you take out fees, this 30 train bundle could be about 300 quid's worth. Oh, and for those of you into your sports cards, I have been picking up a few now and then, just in the background, check that one out there. Steve Aoki, numbered out of 49, Jude Bellingham. I love the German match attacks, look at the cut on that. Cool gold detailing in the top right hand corner. Star Spieler, Jude Bellingham. Another one from Germany. Club 100, Erling Haaland. They just look great, don't they? Look at that one there. Great shot of Jude Bellingham. This one's numbered out of 299. Purple. And then uh, out of 199, best of England, Kira Walsh. And I want to give a shout out to Collector Paul, one of the most underrated YouTube channels out there. If you're into your cards, go out and check him out. He posted some up on his Instagram. This really cool cigarette card from 1931. Laurel and Hardy on there. As soon as I saw it, I jumped on eBay and picked myself up when this is only four quid. Cool piece of history. Nice bit of blurb on the back. Check out Collector Paul. Little retro gaming update before we get onto what's sold on eBay. Our Real Monsters for the Mega Drive. It is absolutely solid. We thought it was hard back in the day whenever you were younger. Try playing it again, it is just as hard. Now on eBay, Saturday and Sunday, I sold 13 things. Here's the first sale. I sold Builder Bear Mew and I picked this up from Cumbran a couple of weeks ago and he sold for just under 40 pounds. That's a good price from you. And this has gone on the global shipping program over to America. In America, these things sell for much more. So I'd imagine they've looked on my listing and actually considering all the postage and the fees, this would have still come in cheaper than buying it locally for them. I like the story. Mew has gone from Cumbran to California. Love it. Next up, we've got a pair of home Nike Manchester United shorts. Nothing really much to write home about. 10 quid they've gone for. But if I pack that up properly, they should go as a large letter. 
I picked this game up last week in Porth Core. Just Dance 2016 for the Xbox 360. You've got to have a Kinect to play it. Paid £2, sold for £8.95 all in. Next up, we've got an old school sandwich box. The reason I picked this up, I love that graphic. From 1991, Barbie is rocking out. I paid a pound for that, sold for £10 all in. I've got two dinosaur sales to show you now. Swooping in here from Jurassic World. This flying dinosaur, push the button there, wings flap, has gone for just under £15. And this is a Schleck Parasaurolophus. This one has gone, again, for just under £15. Next up, I sold this whopping pair of UK size 12 and a half Adidas Questar Boost trainers. The sell through rate on these trainers is absolutely awful, but I think the size has really helped. There aren't many big sizes up on eBay. The condition is fantastic. I don't think they've ever been worn. I paid five pounds for these. These are gone for just under 40 pounds all in. I saw my first Squishmallow and I'm picking these up everywhere I see them. The sell through rate's okay, but if you can find the right ones, they sell for a lot of money. This one isn't particularly popular. It's gone for just under a tenner. The condition isn't brilliant, but I'm glad to have sold my first one. I was kind of dreading that these things might only sell well when they're brand new and there might not be that secondhand market, but the first sale, it's always encouraging. I've sold another piece from that hi-fi stack I bought. Technics dual cassette deck this one has gone for just under 40 pounds i've only got the cd player and the speakers left this actually hasn't taken that long to shift i'm really pleased about actually and because even though they do stack up really well on the shelf they are taking up a fair bit of real estate over there another large item but this one really doesn't hang around this is the second one i've sold in about three weeks mb games down for the old school one, 100 complete 25 pounds all in for that one and that's the same as I sold the last one. It seems to be the going price for it. Even though they do sell quite quick, I wouldn't want to up the price anymore because there are a fair few of these and 25 quid seems to be quite a consistent seller. Now these last two sales of the weekend, I've had a big Trackmaster listing binge and this is the one you want to be looking out for, Trackmaster Duck. It's the old school Trackmaster, you can tell because it doesn't have the spikes on the wheels. Duck is a 25 pound train all day long, but if it's in good condition like this one, you can push for about 30 quid. This has gone for just under that. Diesel is a bit more of a hard seller. So what I like to do is bundle in a couple of tankers. I've put three tankers in with him. I took an offer on him. He's gone for about 14 pounds all in. Now I rarely use eBay auctions, but in this case, I decided it was the best way to sell this particular bundle. What I've got in this bag are 30 learning curve wooden Thomas the Tank trains. Now usually with a bundle like this, I would list everyone individually, buy it now. The problem with these, the condition is absolutely terrible. I say well loved, but I mean, I don't know if there's much love involved, but these learning curve trains are really valuable. Brand new in the packaging, these go for a lot. Secondhand is all about condition. And like I said, these ones aren't great. So I decided to stick them on a week long auction and let the market just sort out the price of them. I've had lots of watches on these. I've had a few messages about them as well, but the bids were really slow coming in. I had a flurry of interest right at the death and these 30 learning curve trains have gone for just over 80 pounds all in. So that's coming in about two pound 50 a train and that's pretty cheap. And actually looking at the account of the person who's bought them, he sells a lot of these individually. So I think he's bought these to sell on. Look, I've got nothing against that at all. And I'm pleased with that amount of money. I bought this with a big bundle of Trackmaster and the Trackmaster has put me into profit. This is pure profit. It's all gone in one hit, in one sale. Personally, I think listing these in this condition, they're gonna be sat around for a while and I don't think you're gonna to get top dollar. eBay sold Monday and Tuesday. Let me run you through them. First off, let's kick off with some shoes. This pair of New Balance 410s. These are gone for just under 30 quid. Never been worn, brand new. UK size five. They've hung around a bit, but I've been charging top price for them because they are brand new. Another pair of brand new shoes. These are Whoppers, size UK 12 and a half. Nike Tempo Astro Boots. Picked these up from Cowbridge last Wednesday. Those ones have gone for a bit more, 35 quid all in. Again, the size has sold them. Not many Astro Turf boots up on eBay for that large size category, particularly brand new. And there's some about that classic all black look as well in there. Sold a Monster High doll. Dot Dead Gorgeous, Spectra Von der Geist. 
Her hair's all over the shop, but plenty of accessories. Look how her legs taper down to the clear plastic. Great model design. That's gone for just under a tenner all in. Next up, shout out Dave. He's been looking for a birthday present, got in touch with me, scrolled through my eBay store, and he found this Squishmallow, Francis the Lion. And this is a present for his girlfriend, Ella. So Ella, if you're watching, happy birthday to you. Hope you have a great time. Francis is on his way. <laughs> this is a great little story. A guy called Sam got in touch with me about this Wales rugby jersey. Apparently, Sam had a massive day in Cardiff for the Wales rugby game and his shirt didn't survive it. So he's desperate for a replacement in time for this Scotland game this Saturday. Got in touch with me, said he'd pay full price and a bit more if I could post this to him first class. Well, in times like these, you've got to help out a fellow Welsh rugby fan. I don't even know if Sam watches the channel, but I've got a feeling this shirt might be in for a rough ride. Oh, remember I keep telling you about Sing plushes off of the films? Well, I've saw Buster Moon. This one is a TY plush. See that there? From the first Sing movie, it's got his little microphone there. Buster Moon has gone for 20 quid all in. And the final sale to show you today, I have sold Diesel 10 and two troublesome trucks. This is the original Trackmaster. This is from a bundle I've had off of Connor actually. That one has gone for just under 20 pounds all in. I've got another one of these in the big bundle of Trackmaster I've just picked up. And hopefully I'll be showing you more Trackmaster sales over the upcoming weeks. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. First commenter, last video, Adam Malpass. What a journey he's been on from outside the top 50, climbing up those boards, most recently in the top three. First commenter by four seconds and he wanted it as well, big time. I don't think I'll do a video this weekend. So the next time I'll catch up with you, next Wednesday, we'll hit the charity shop, find some bits to resell on eBay. Catch up with you then.